would want them to use the vehicle in a way that a customer would use it and abuse it as well. So that's why you will see riders riding the vehicle very hard. It is an accelerated way of running the vehicle. It brings about a lot more stress to the vehicle in a compressed manner. It's all okay as long as they use it like a customer would. We see that for a customer, the average life of a scooter is around 8 to 10 years and during that time they cover around 1 lakh kilometers and we were able to complete that same 1 lakh kilometers in less than 2 years and we've ensured that it holds up well in all of those conditions. To build a vehicle that can survive weather conditions that vary drastically from very high temperatures, very low temperatures. We have high humidity, low humidity. We will have to take the vehicles to places where the conditions are extreme so that we bring about certain types of failures in the vehicle. Everything gets tested when a vehicle runs. In August 2023, we started our uh, evaluation within Bangalore with three vehicles, ORE1, ORE2 and ORE3. The vehicle would start running early in the morning till late in the night through the city conditions, highway, rough road or in solo and duals condition depending on how the plan for the day has been. So this way we were able to cover about 300 to 350 kilometers every day and we have covered about 25,000 kilometers within Bangalore. We wanted to put our vehicles through different terrains and different weather conditions. So we had to take it to other cities and we started off with Mancheril. At Mancheril, the vehicle went through high temperature conditions. The high temperature was useful in understanding what is the stress levels that the battery, the brakes and other components that are sensitive to thermals go through. And we took the data to improve our internal lab testing as well. In this journey at Mancherian, we covered about 10,000 kilometers, which got the overall kilometer count to around 35,000 kilometers. In Rameshwaram, the idea was to stress test the vehicle in terms of what would happen if the vehicle spends time there, would rust form, would there be something that would happen to seals? So these were the things that we wanted to check it was even more difficult for the riders because you're sweating all the time. You have to run the vehicle through harsh, sunny condition. Your helmet is wet, your jackets are wet. So it was very difficult for the riders. And in the process, we covered about 10,000 kilometers in Rameshwaram. So this brought the overall kilometer count to 65,000 kilometers. Uti is a hilly terrain. The ambience are slightly lower, but the terrain itself can bring about a lot of stress within the battery and the motor. By now, the vehicle is already covered about 85 to 90,000 kilometers, and it is close to its end of life. We claim 18 degrees gradient, and we wanted to check close to the end of the vehicle life, does this number still hold? So this data was useful for us in order to understand and tweak our algorithms. As it is practice, we got the vehicle back to Bangalore. And with that, the vehicle was closer to our target of 1 lakh kilometers. We began testing back in August of 2023. We started off with two scooters at the time, a team of around 15 riders, as well as some technicians and engineers. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of round the clock days, and a lot of uh, blood, sweat and gears later, we completed the journey in March 2025, and ORE2 was the first vehicle to cover one lakh kilometers. As a team, we like to challenge ourselves to find all the different ways in which a vehicle might fail and then we work collaboratively to find solutions for that. So that's what excites us and having a reliable product in the market is just a byproduct. 
So we decided to name ORE2 as Laksh because that signifies the kind of beating it's taken. And it is a milestone that we would all want to remember. That I think is special.